You know that annoying message that you get all the time from Windows credentials? Uh, basically it looks like this, uh, something like this, and you have to enter passwords um, and you get this weird thing going on. Uh, really, really annoying. So finally found a fix for it. Um, didn't really fix the network. Windows is still being stupid. Uh, I don't have any firewalls and I still cannot see my server. So as you can see, there's a server in the network, but it just doesn't show up as a file sharing uh, device. Also, it's part of the home group. You can see the other computers uh, in the home group, but it cannot be seen by the computers in the home group. Uh, but I can share uh, a folder without actually having to introduce uh, credentials every time. And it was actually pretty, pretty annoying what was causing it. So um, you have to go into the system information, uh, windows and pause will bring it up. Um, and under advanced settings, uh, you will have to look under computer name, under change? See, it's so deep inside. Oh yeah, this is, this is where it is. Um, so it's uh, under network ID. It's just stupid. Um, by default, um, the, the, the computer is set up as part of a business. I use this computer to connect to other computers in the network, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to be part of a business. You want to be a part of the home computer, uh, not part of the business. Uh, if you're not part of the home, uh, of a home computer, it won't work right. It will ask you for those credentials every time you want to log on. So you have to go to that on a server. Uh, it's not really a server. It's just running Windows 10. It's, file, it's doing file sharing. Uh, between the computers. I have two Windows 10 computers, uh, but basically you have to do that, uh, restart the computer, and uh, uh, basically at that point you will be able to, to see the other files on the other computer. This is really, really dumb. It's under uh, system settings, uh, so basically um, you could search for it, system, uh, I think you could, you could get it from here, yeah. So you just search it in the start, uh, just type in system, uh, find this icon, uh, system and control panel uh, and then under advanced system settings under computer name under network ID you have to be part of the, the home computer this is really, really dumb uh, but it, it is what it is so I hope that helped you guys uh, it was driving me nuts when I was getting these messages that uh, I was keep saying that I don't have the, uh, the, the I, I need to be logged on and I have to type in the password every time it was really really annoying so um, I hope this helped you out guys uh, leave me a comment in the bottom of the video if you know how to fix the other problem where I cannot see my server in the network it's really really annoying I just cannot see my server in the network and uh, for those that are asking if my file discovery is set up uh, it is it is uh, set up as far as like the um, uh, sharing it's it's all done so it's turn on network discovery is on file and printer sharing is on allow windows to manage uh, work group computers guest is on uh, file sharing is on and also all, all networks i have the encryption and turn off password protection sharing and you can still send us here this is really annoying so uh yeah I, 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 this server never really shows up it should show up over here as a computer it should be part of the home group and i cannot see its files but from the server i can clearly see this amd computer remember the server is not really a server it's just a computer app called server. So thanks for watching. Uh, uh, leave me a comment at the bottom of the video if you know how to fix that part. But at least the credentials I solved for you. So uh, that 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 is that is done. Thanks for watching.